Hi, my name is Scott Skirantz. I work for the Lincoln Electric Company and Lincoln Electric's official sponsor of EAA. Today I'd like to talk to you about um, some aftermarket products that go on your TIG torch and help accompany your TIG welder when you purchase it. Um, the TIG welding process has a lot of different add-ons that you can put into it. Um, I have a little box here that I have all my pieces and parts in. I keep it uh, close by. If I have to get into a tight situation, I have different cups. I have little, little small little clamps. I have different size gas lenses. So it's nice to have a little storage compartment for all your pieces and parts. So I have this uh, cool little box. But one of the first things you want to buy, if you're like me and you, wear, and you wear progressive bifocals, the first thing I went and bought was a cheater lens, what's called a cheater lens. This is actually my diopter. It's like a 2.0. It actually magnifies the welding area for me. Um, it's like um, if you have trouble reading the menu when you go to a restaurant and you need those glasses, you're going to need them for TIG welding because TIG welding is at that 18 to 22 inch distance. So this is a good um, product to actually add to your welding helmet. Also, the TIG machine comes complete with a foot control, but this is a thumb control. Maybe you're laying on your back underneath a cluster and you're trying to get in there and you can't work the foot control. You don't have a buddy close by that can help you. You can put an aftermarket add-on uh, thumb control that will help you control the amperage for you. There's also a, a, a flexible head torch. Again, you're in a tight situation. You need to flex the torch around. This is a great product for that. Again, get in those tight situations where the standard torch just won't cut it for you. This flexible head torch does a great job. Again, I've got some series of clamps. You can go and get a series of clamps, whatever works for you. Um, have, a, have a little supply of those. Again, I got some real little ones here, uh, anything you need. Also, for if you're doing any aluminum welding like I've done here, you definitely want to have a stainless steel wire brush. And I've got this labeled for aluminum only. Um, this is good for cleaning your aluminum before you weld. And you, and you don't want to use it to um, wire brush anything else but steel or you want to do anything else with it. So only use it for your aluminum and designate it for aluminum only. Um, have some fun with TIG welding. Talk to you later.